Uh-oh. Y'all hear him out, y'all hear him out. Told me to run and stay down there. And then people down there put them on the service. And I went down to every morning, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. I walked around. Yes, you got to say. Talk over there, speaking of paper, stick. He gave me 8 hours a day. Community service. Yeah, community service. And two months' time, man, I mean, two weeks' time, I was still with him. You got a community service? Kill, kill, kill. Kill, kill, kill. So, so again, now. again, I got one I can help him out too. Go ahead. Yeah. I'm in Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Walmart. I got a truck pass from way back then. When I rolled over the one Walmart right there, what hook was it? Mm-hmm. Oh, put me in jail. Truck pass from what you mean? I did this to get a friend. Right. I ain't even standing in jail 15 minutes. Yeah, right, right. Keep your hands. I said, I Let's get one more. Oh, you got to Well, let's get on with group. I don't have a thousand dollars. Oh, I see you Yeah, I got one. Put on your lady and man. She'll take that one off you. She'll take it off you. That ain't no problem. You good. I guess it's a paper. It don't have the lock-up date. It just got a release date. Them folks don't know when you would get it. Well, he's going to be good because he got that. So, look, man, look, real quick. I want to hear everybody, man. Thank y'all for sharing. Well, y'all talk about that after we thank y'all for sharing. Let's give everybody a round of applause. Amen. That's some good stuff. That's some good stuff. I cut them off for a reason. Okay, then. I cut them off for a reason. My clan, when you get right, you get your clan. <laughs> I like it. Hey, y'all already know Mr. Stone. Mr. Stone, Stone man. From Mount Moriah, I've got the shirt with Dr. <laughs> Walter Solomon. Dr. Walter Solomon is the pastor. Um, this morning, this morning, watch this. Watch this. The morning we're going to deal with Proverbs 23 and 7. So as a man thinketh, so he is. is. Can y'all repeat me? So. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. One more time. So as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Wow. Wow. In the therapeutic community, they say, man, you suffer from criminal addictive excitement. Your belief windshield. And see, I wasn't so prominent to understand the language that he was using that I kept saying, what in the world is this lady talking about? Criminal, addictive, therapeutic. excitement, therapeutic. Therapeutic community. Look at him. Look at him. The therapeutic community. And we have words in the therapeutic community that we use. We say, breaking your belief in good shield. Breaking your belief one shield. I didn't understand that because I'm from Birmingham, Alabama. We don't talk like that. My, you broke my windshield. <laughs> Yo, so you don't want to throw that break. I knew I would catch you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because I kept saying breaking my belief windshield. Let it. You break, you break the car. I mean, for real, I couldn't catch it. But then I thought about something. I told y'all that's the reason why I love to see quote unquote people when they get home from prison and I like to see the buff up because the first thing they say is, I just got out of that penitentiary. <laughs> I just got out of prison. And all of a sudden more people who, who never been, they you know, it kind of do will scare you a little bit. Because you're wondering in your mind, did you kiss people or did you stab people? You know, was that you tried to escape? You know what I mean? Yeah. And it scares the people who don't know that I was in the penitentiary studying my Bible and going to Bible study and making sure that my wife's are fresh and making sure that everything. I was the best ideal criminal you could see. You really was? What? <laughs> I was the ideal criminal because when I'm free, when I'm free, I'm locked up. And when I'm locked up, I'm free. 
But as soon as you say, good morning, everybody, I love you. Oh, Lord, here's the hill. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because see, because see, look, so as a man think, think it is hard. It is hard, man. So is he. So is he. Now, real quick, I didn't get a chance to tell y'all about the, 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 excuse me, Proverbs 23 and 6. Now, 23 and 6 says, you don't sit down with a man and eat his food. With the evil man. It talks about the evil man sitting down eating his food. And he and his lies. And he and his stuff. One thing about coming out of jail. Man, somewhere we think that the money is going to solve all our problems. Everybody who come out of jail, even I, when I came out, first thing I said was, well, I've got to come up, dog. I'm going to have to get me some money somewhere. And, man, because I just can't sit around here and don't have no bread. You know what I'm saying? My children ain't got nothing. See, I ain't used to. You have done 30 years, and you ain't even gave one dollar. Now, all of a sudden, now, the thinking say you need all this money. Well, I know millionaires today ain't happy. And I'm sitting there saying, well, there's no way you can write me a check for $2,000 or something that I have. <laughs> you, give me, well, no, well, you can't do $2,000. There's no way you can give $300. $30. <laughs> 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 I can give you 30 back by Thursday. Man, you got $10, I can get the later. I mean, for real, I know millionaires who are depressed and stressed. When we come, first of all, I told each and every last one of y'all, y'all was called, it's time to answer your call. If you don't hurry up and answer your call, you're in trouble. If you don't hurry up and answer your call from God, you're in trouble. Each one of you are called from God. Don't even know you're going to study your Bible. You think of mine, check out Jonah. He ran. But I come to find out personally that Jonah had an anger management problem. And Jonah mad all I do. He was mad. I was mad. And still is. But by the grace of God, today, hey man, we're using scriptures to deal with this anger management. Because we, we it's not going to solve nothing once I jump up and snap. I'm tired of all this mess. Knowing you got parole and probation. Yo, come on, dog. Come on, dog. I'm rolling with y'all. I ain't studying this mess. And you walk out that house knowing you got to be in 47. And you walk out that house. Because I'm mad. And then as soon as you get caught, you said, I should have just sat down. <laughs> I really wasn't that mad as I thought I was. As soon as you get caught with the drugs in your pocket, because you hustling, you needed this money so bad. And all of a sudden, man, I was doing just as good with them three dollars, man. <laughs> <laughs> My uncle at least gave me two fifty for a soda and I that two fifty when I lived in Dallas, Texas a whole year. $150 a week. It was so embarrassing to me because I was trying to start in this shop. And the barber business ain't easy, he'll tell you. Because you got to get out here and put these cars out. Y'all don't play the cars out to everybody. I'm all in the funeral home, leaving them in casting. Hold on, my friend. No, I mean. <laughs> 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 you got my condolences. You know? <laughs> Hopefully, somebody see my picture and say, go, go, go get that boy. That didn't be an edge of some eyebrow arch or something. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So as a man think, so is he. Now, I know I got scholars in this room because we're not, we're not bad people. We acted bad. And I tell people, say, you go down to the firehouse and you minister down there? Of course. Because what you fail to realize, you didn't let them folks close. Okay. You don't even have no idea. These four scholars. I was talking to one man. If you saw him, y'all would have been like, what's wrong with that dude? Man, that man is the biggest lawyer in such and such town. It blows my mind. Either way, you got $30 to No, but I'm just saying, I, I wanted to say that because he's a big time lawyer, but my man had some issues in life. He just needed to hear a word from God. He just needed to hear a word from you. That's it. So this morning, man, we go around the room. How can we change our thinking? And nothing negative. We ain't worried about what we used to do. We ain't worried about who we once was. We ain't worried about who got much in it. We talk about how can I be a much better person because God is calling you. If you think I'm lying, you wouldn't be getting caught. Look at that boy that went down on Great Mountain and got twin and got shot like that. Right there, the service station. Yeah. 
That man gets shot down like right that. Been shot ten times, man. Been to prison. His brother's still in prison for murder. That man had so many opportunities to make it. Then he rests in, in heaven of peace. But then as I look at the story, I want to say, bro, what, what, did you, you didn't give up the first time you got shot? How the same man shoot you three times? So is the man thinking. So is he. We walk out here with these negative mentalities. I'm gangster. Boy, you 42 years old. The, the, the colors movie don't even show right now. It got glasses. It's like an old 60 movie. <laughs> the colors look like an old 60 movie or something. I'm trying to tell a 12 year old about Mr. Society. Yeah. I didn't want to see that, Daddy. That was just so terrifying. <laughs> People kill each other like that, Daddy. So is a man thinking, who do you think you are? We know what they say. Who do you think you are? You going with it first, bro? Or we going to start from the back? We start with you first. Y'all want to come around the back this time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who do you think you are today, my brother? Uh-oh, uh-oh. And? And? You're a simple businessman, and? I said a successful businessman. He's a successful businessman, and? <coughs> You are a. You see that little girl? No, I got vulture. Oh, he said, what? Well, well, you are a. <laughs> and a. Mentor. Oh, oh, come on, man. Come on, Bob. Come on, go on. And a. And a. And a. And a. You are a thing. Come on. Go, let's say that thing. You are. Um, huh? No, first put your name in front of them. We have to learn to talk with prestige. Because once, <laughs> once, because people don't know, right? What people don't know, you get the most education out of. We ain't got to say their name. Don't say the name right now. No, no, uh, from each other. In the AA, it ain't mean they say that one addict happened another. They told me that, that was it. I told my sponsor, I don't want to call me no more. Talk about that. Nah. I'm going to holler at my boy. If my boy been free not 20 years, I'm going to find out where he got going. Uh -huh, boy. Uh -huh, boy. I don't even know you like that. I'm going to call my boy. He just went from prison to the past of the church. I'm going with him. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I ain't going to never call you John. John, I don't even know you like that. <laughs> but I'm going to call, you know what I mean? He been free now 16 years. Because AANA said, that it's one addict hip and another. Mm -hmm. So I don't need you, sponsor. I need you. So who are you? Your name is who, sir? My name is Timothy. His name is Timothy, and you are? My father. He's a father. A drummer. Huh? A drummer. Oh, oh, a real drummer, professor. No, see, you're wrong. The word is percussionist. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm a percussionist. And where that? Percussionist and, uh... A man that got to learn patience and got gratitude. A man that got to learn patience and gratitude. I, I told him, man, patience can fight. I can catch a domestic violence case with patience. What? <laughs> Come on now. What? What's that basic? Nice. My name's Perry. I'm, I'm serious about my temple. Keeping it clean. My mind clean. Amen. I love people, but... My life being such in the stand that I got to be humble. You know? so, Amen. I want to see, I you see myself. Come on. I see me. myself change. Okay. In other people's mm -hmm. mind, other people's mind, they see me as change. You know, I, yes, I feel grateful for that. Uh -huh. You know, it ain't been easy because there's been so much pressure on. I put on myself to chastise myself and listen to other people. You know? mm. Hey man, y'all give him a round of applause. Yeah, that's the smartest thing I've ever heard. Hey, hey, I, I ain't think you're top. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know you made a roll tag, everybody. So, okay. Hey, look. Uh, <laughs> hey, I like that shirt. Bring hey. Look, oh, look, 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 look. Now, we're going to slow down on him because, first of all, I just want to again, let's give him another round of applause. It takes a lot. It takes a lot for a man to empty. Y'all didn't hear one word he said, though? Y'all remember, because y'all were here with me last week. I told you they gave me some new folks. I didn't know what to say. Hey, good morning. 
right. <laughs> I was used to my crew. I, you know, <laughs> hey, look, I even said, well, my crew don't graduate. They're ready. Look, so watch this. What I heard was, what's that word? Y'all remember when we talked about Because he said, man, I've done so much. much. Bro, I can feel you firsthand because even today, man, as long as I've been free, still I got that guilt inside of me. Again, as I look at the people who I'm not on, I'm holding guilt against me because I think, I think that people think, that's too much thinking. I think that people think that I failed and I held that guilt in because I couldn't go back and, and get a post day stuff back that I had stolen. I couldn't go back and I couldn't go back. But then, man, what's so awesome and what I, I challenge you today, man, it starts saying the prayer, Lord, forgive me. The serenity prayer said, God, right? Grant me the serenity. That's peace. Grant me the serenity. Give me the peace, first of all. Because it's, it's playing in my mind. I keep seeing all my wrongs in my mind. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to have been better. I'm supposed to have been a lot better. I'm supposed to have been successful in all this old mess here. And not, you don't know God's plan for your life. Because now you're on your way to be successful. Because now your conscience and your heart is beat and you're feeling. Man, that's some good stuff. Because I know some people who you would think were saved and all this old mess ain't going to gave nothing to nobody. They never been to jail. I commend you today, my brother. I'm just saying that. Learn to forgive you. Grant me the serenity, the simple thing I cannot change, which is my past. I can't change my past, and I'm not going to let you or no one else keep reminding me of my past. I'm like Urkel. Anybody remember Urkel? Mm -hmm. Did I do that? <laughs> that wasn't me. <laughs> Just case told it went crazy. <laughs> I got people out here right now. They say they think I'm crazy, and I'm cool with that because I don't need them gravitating toward me anyway. Come on. Go ahead, bro. You said something? I'm just saying God before you, who can be Ooh. All right, now. Lord, if I'm preaching now, come on now, Pastor. He's Don't. among the living. He's among you and others in the group. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can I get an amen? Amen. Y'all give him a round of applause. Oh. Yeah, now, see, I'm good for the rest of you, but I can go home. That did, because his head was down. Your brother here was frown. I never saw him frown. And his head went down. That man lift up his head and summed up the whole group. So as a man thinketh, so is he. What you got going on? Who are you, man? What's your name here? What's your name here? What's your name here? What's your name here? Oh, my name is Al. Hey, Al. Yeah. Hey, Al. Yeah. Uh, who I think I am for what? I'm a, uh, I'm, a, uh, I'm a father. He's a father. A mentor. He's a mentor. I'm just someone who's just trying to, like I said, just find my place in life. You know what I'm saying? Kind of What's up with the trying game? No, I don't like the well, word well, trying, I, I, I man, when you're trying. doing it. No, I don't, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm putting for the effort to find where's my place in life. Where is my place in life? But what are you doing to put forth your effort to find where's your place in life? Well, I'm, I'm basically still doing a little bit of soul, soul searching with them. I'm um, basically doing soul search. How are you soul searching, sir? I am. I? I'm reading my Bible. He's I'm, reading his Bible. I am. You know what I'm saying? It's basically, just trying to figure out. You know what I'm saying? What what I need to do. What he need to do? I know what I need to do, but I'm saying, what more can I do? What know more can I do? Yeah. See, that's why I'm. That's what I'm. Just trying to formulate a, a plan and everything. You know so what, what should you do? What should I do? But you do the only one good sugar bread. What should you do? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what should you do? What should I do? Because this action based resolution, bro. I, I, man, I get, I get, I get energy off action based. I feed off it. Yeah. Yeah. See, what, what, what I, what I need to do is just stick around 
all those good folk, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Like Surround church, yourself. Church, church people. Church, church you know people. Know uh, people like Nation of Islam people, and, you know what I'm saying? It's just all type of people that you can learn from. You know right. Doing the right thing. Yeah, exactly. Doing the right thing. Exactly. Amen. Cause I and when I was man, when you on that quest for knowledge, bro, I'm trying to get it everywhere. Well. Mm -hmm. I didn't have no time to worry about if you was this, that, and the other. If you said uh, one word, I'm with it. I can't do it. nobody because I'm back free, and I must be a much better man than I was yesterday. And so, hey, and with, with this new way of life, I had to change my clothes. Ain't that's called? With the new way of life, I had to even change the way I look. And I didn't want to look like I was hustling. I didn't want nothing to do with it. Look like I'm trying to hustle you out of a nickel dime or nothing. I don't want to look like no crackhead. One thing Jesus told Lazarus, he told him to come forth from the dead, right? But what else did he tell him? To take off what? Take off them clothes, man. <laughs> I'm going to up and tell you when you come from prison, you're transitioning back to society. Go to my clothing closet. They're the same clothes I want. <laughs> but y'all still on four clothes. <laughs> you know, no. Y'all get that brother around the closet. Get, get, get. The bro, come on with it back there. So, huh? You can go with George. What's your name? My name is George. My name is George. I am a man. He's a man. I like the home bed. Like to handle business. So this is what you're thinking. I'm George, a man, and handle business. Like how? Read it. Let's just say, read it. Read what we're talking about. What business? Oh, my, my trade. My trade? Okay. That is for building cars. Building cars. It's going all antique car. So you are, you do this now? Yes. So you, you mechanic, you license mechanic or something? I've been doing it all my life. Man, where you work at? Myself, I can't. I don't do good. I want to it, so I work for myself. Oh, now I know this is our baby of our clan. This is our baby now. This is our little baby brother now. He don't like take no orders. He don't like take no orders. Y'all do know it is rude to this. Why are you saying you like take orders, bro? Who like right, take orders? Hold on, Miss Joe. You got to come to your turn. Okay. okay. Why are you saying you like take orders? Well, I like to be in the position of giving orders. You like the position of giving orders. Rich, are you? You be a rich one. Well, well, watch this. So when you put yourself in this, Mr. Joe and Miss Lady, I'm, I'm going to eventually have to. We don't know I said that you get the You like that? I'm going to eventually have to ask you guys. No, but uh, I don't hear him out. <laughs> Y'all hear the brother out. Why, bro? Because, you know, in this, in this world, there are rules. Hey, bro, you must follow. Hey, you got to. You must. Yeah, you got to. You must. But I like your idea. You said I got to train the work for myself. Me too. Nah. Okay. But there's two different things when you're talking about rules. Rules in life, and that you got to follow. I understand that. But okay. For rules on the job, you ain't got to apply by that when you can do your own thing. So that's two different stories you was talking about. Though. That's two different answers. Well, I'm agree and disagree. Because there's still rules to this. It's rules in that. It'd be less of rules with you being your own boss now. Hey, it's rules to this. I'm my own boss now. I'm an independent contractor now. Okay. Don't you know I can't snap on nobody? What I want to tell you, dude going to tell me that, man, guess what the dude did to me money too to get off subject? Dude country. sat down and did this to me and at work. He said, in my chair, it is 7 o'clock in the morning, right? I haven't downloaded, had no coffee, no nothing. He said, in my chair, he said, bro, yeah, I just came out of town. He said, I'm going to tell you now. You messed my head up. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you messed my head up. I'm going to test your body. Well, no, he said, but you messed my head up. I'm going to beat you up or something. But it was something like, I'm going to. No, he said, if you messed my head up, I'm going to Mike Tyson you. <laughs> <laughs> Seven o'clock in the morning, my nigga. Hey, 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 check me out, right? Seven o'clock in the morning, because you say, you know, when you're on ball, there ain't no room. It's seven o'clock in the morning. The Spirit of the Lord haven't downloaded on me, hasn't came upon me yet. And, 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 and. I got a mission going on my thing. So, then the Lord forgive me for cursing the burden. And this dude said, and watch cognitive intervention, but I had to get my two piece out. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you do know I'm holding for you, right? Watch my criminal addiction inside. I said, you do know I'm holding for you, right? 
I said, well, come on, I'm trying to spin around. Hey, I'm trying to spin around. I mean, because I was going to let this man get the up on me. You've already killed me because I'm an independent contractor, my own business. And hear this dude say, you messed my head up, bro. I'm going to Mike Tyson you. And so, therefore, I do know. So, now I'm not paying attention, right? Hey, hey, look. I said, oh, you do know I'm Mike Tyson, right? And, and before I know it, bro, you know what I said? Bro, we ain't got to wait for your hair cut to do that, man. Come bring your hair up. I told you. What are you saying then? <laughs> I, I heard another guy tell another barber that I didn't think that was going to be so serious. <laughs> <laughs> you did talk your head long. I like, I like to throw everything. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It ain't no contradictory. Yeah. Because it's rude. Because all the other barbers and the people, are everybody be packed at 7 in the morning. Yes, man. Right. Yeah. They, they look at me and they call me ministers and referees. Yeah. But this, okay, this you can't be man, don't you start. I am not the officer. You better use the bathroom. I ain't yeah. gonna start. I ain't telling no man you use the bathroom. Yeah. I was just trying to get out of your home. We free. Hey, Bicho, we free now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, what time is it, y'all? Make sure we're moving around my break. Is it a break time? 10 2. But one more thing. Before I know this, bro, it's 10 10. 10 2. It's 10 2. Y'all got two more minutes. Before I know it, bro. I know I told her, man, bro, we don't even wait for your haircut. You come on, get this now. And I had to stop myself. Man, I stopped myself. I didn't even let that man steal my joy. But it freaked me out. He just up and said that out the blue. So it's rude. And that one got me here right now. I, yeah. I, I couldn't stop. Cognitive intervention. That one thinking. here right now. So, okay, now we're on, we on the we same page. So it's a man oh, thinking. Geez. So it's he. He sent me back all the way back. And the man, I was gonna throw away all. I did throw away. You did throw away. I didn't lose all my stuff, but I did throw away. I lost my I lost my shop and everything. You see, he lost shop and everything. So we on the way. See, see how we hit on somebody's knocking at your door. Nervous number state on. Yeah, give people two more. Y'all give people two more power. Oh, and y'all give people two more power. You of all people talking about, we give people two more power. I know, I got it. See, but I have it. I know issues. It's a different. When y'all don't have any issues, y'all got somebody to power over you. And sometimes I do that too, I get somebody to power well, over you. Uh, well, when we get to your turn, you on the next hand, you then you We're come on. You. Then you come on. <laughs> hey, man, thank y'all so much, man. Y'all get up for We'll be back. We'll be back because we got to give you some feedback. Yeah. You come on back because, man, your business is going to be successful. And we pray that you get it all back. Yeah. My partner, my little brother, little cousin, man, they, they that mechanic business, bro. I can't do mechanic. I tried, but that ain't my thing. Y'all go ahead and take a break along, baby. Age for Kellaway. Call it chill. Yeah, yeah. Hey, for real, see, all of them same church and all that. We all in the same church. Come on, let's see. I stay with my auntie right now. For real? That's all right. I said, I said, I'm putting me at a tag. Can't stop me because you said, who?